Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be learning about some different animals in the continent of South America. So we have been learning all about different continents, um, all seven of our continents. So again, they're Asia, Australia, Africa, South America, North America, Antarctica, and Europe. So this week we're going to focus on South America and different animals that we find there. And more specifically today, we are going to learn about the pink river dolphin. So let's go ahead and get started. Meet a baby pink river dolphin. A baby pink river dolphin swims with its mother. The baby, called a calf, is always gray. Some calves will turn pink as they get older. Others will stay gray or turn light gray. This is because not all pink river dolphins are pink. Hmm, a neat fact. So here's the mother, and here's a calf who's starting to turn a little bit pink. What is a pink river dolphin? Although they live in water, all dolphins are mammals, not fish. So we learned a lot about mammals last week when we were talking about Australia and we learned about a special kind of mammal called a marsupial who has that pouch. So dolphins are mammals, but they're not marsupials like those animals that we learned about last week. So pink river dolphins have long, smooth bodies and long beaks. Inside their beaks are long rows of teeth. The dolphins use their front teeth to hold their food. They use their back teeth to chew their food. So they have a much longer beak than a, um, a dolphin that we might typically see. And here is the size of them. It says adult pink river dolphin size. So here it looks like this is a grown up and a kid. And then we can see that they're pretty big animals. And they have just these really long rows of teeth. So where do pink river dolphins live? Most dolphins live in salty ocean water, but pink river dolphins do not. They live only in fresh water. Ooh, I see one of our text features that we learned about this year. Fresh water, that word is in bold. Number of something's in bold, then the author has made it a little bit darker. And oftentimes you can find the words that are in bold in the back of the book in the glossary, and it will kind of define what that word is for us. So when we get to the end, we'll look up that word fresh water to see what exactly that means. The dolphins can be found in the lakes and rivers of South America's rainforests. So here's a map and it, this yellow part says where pink river dolphins live. So here's their continent of South America. And then we can see all in here, that yellow part is where pink river dolphins live. And then over here we have some labels, which are um, some addi additional text features that we've learned about pointing here to the river and pointing here to the rainforest. And then obviously we've got the pink river dolphin in the middle. Special skill. The dolphins often live in muddy water, which makes it hard for them to see. Fortunately, they have a special skill called echolocation. All right, that one's also in bold, so we can define that a little bit later as well. To use this skill, a dolphin makes clicking sounds, which travel through the water. When the sounds hit something, they bounce back toward the animal, like an echo. Dolphins can tell the shape and distance of an object by listening to the echoes. So all dolphins have echolocation, not just river dolphins. I'm going to post a video below about um, echolocation that will teach us a little bit more because it's a really, really cool skill. So here are our arrows down here. It says clicking sounds. So those little lines are to represent the vibrations that the sounds will make in the water. And then here, the sounds that it made are bouncing off of this little fish. And now the um, sound is coming back towards the pink river dolphin. So it's echoing back at it. So the dolphin can tell where that fish is in the water. So that's a really neat skill. All right, here's our another text feature. Um, at the top, we have the header. Remember, the header tells us what we're about to learn about on that page or the next couple of pages. So this header says giving birth. So now we know that in this section, we're going to learn about pink river dolphins giving birth. So mother pink river dolphins give birth underwater. So they have their babies underwater. 
They have only one calf at a time. After her baby is born, the mother helps it swim to the surface for air because remember, dolphins need to breathe air too. They're not fish, they're mammals like us. We need to breathe air. She nudges her calf upward with her nose. And then in the little box here, we see it says mother and calf swimming toward the surface. All right, our header on this page says growing up. So we know that we're now we're gonna learn about growing up. For the first year of its life, a calf's only food is its mother's milk. The rich milk helps the calf grow quickly. As it grows, the calf spends most of its time with its mother. If predators, such as sharks, swim too close, the mother will protect her baby. She will use her beak and flippers to scare away the enemies. So that word predators is in bold, so we're gonna find it in the glossary to define it in just a moment. Here we see a shark and we see mother swimming with the calf. Time to eat. Several times a year, pink river dolphins form groups that feed together. They eat more than 40 different kinds of fish. They also feed on river turtles and crabs. In the groups, mothers and calves search for food together. Some scientists believe pink river dolphin mothers teach their calves how to hunt. So here is a dolphin eating a catfish. Playtime. Pink river dolphins and their calves are playful animals. They play with logs and sticks that float in the Oh, excuse me, that float in the water. They sometimes rub up against boats or even grab canoe paddles with their mouths. So here's a dolphin playing with a floating seed. Playing helps the calves become better swimmers. So here's a mother and calf playing with a leaf. Wow, that's a huge leaf. So they're playing with the leaf and it helps the kids, the baby calves, to become better swimmers. All grown up. A pink river dolphin calf stays with its mother for two to three years. After it leaves her, the grown-up calf lives alone. Adult males live alone for their whole lives. Adult females live alone until they give birth to calves of their own. Then the cycle of life starts all over again. So if something is a cycle, that means it goes in a circle. So here's a picture of an adult pink river dolphin. So they look like a little bit different than dolphins that you might be used to seeing. All right, here's our glossary. So let's define some of these terms. So beaks are hard pointy mouth parts used for eating. So we are familiar with a beak on an animal or on a bird rather, but you might not have heard the term beak used for a dolphin before. Echolocation is a method for finding an object's position by sending out sounds that bounce back to the sender. Fresh water water that is not salty. So the ocean is very salty, but um, these pink river dolphins do not live in the ocean. They only live in fresh water, like in rivers. Mammals. So a mammal is a warm-blooded animal that has hair and drinks their mother's milk as babies. So we are mammals. We learned about some different mammals last week. Koalas were mammals. Kangaroos were mammals. Lots of animals are mammals. Predators, animals that hunt and eat other animals. So like we talked about before, the food chain, most animals have an animal above them in the food chain that eats them. And then they also have an animal below them that they eat. That's called a food chain. Rainforests. Rainforests are large, warm areas of land covered with trees and plants where lots of rain falls. All right, thank you for tuning in with me and learning about pink river dolphins. If you would like to write a sentence about something you learned about pink river dolphins, um, you are more than welcome to do so, and I look forward to seeing those. All right, everybody, see you back here later. Bye.